Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you the way how you can count the distinct values. So why distinct values we need to count? Well scenarios like for example we have this product category column right and if we see the number of orders that we have got by utilizing the order ID if we get a count of that uh, is is this so overall what we are seeing is 723 orders we have got 466 4605 we have got here and 2062 is we have it here so is this a true reflection of order count no why because what happens in the data set if you will look at it you have the order ids repeated multiple times whenever order customer is placing uh, more than two or three products. For example, customer can place an order in both furniture and technology or office supplies and technology. So whatever mix and match customer want, they can order. So we really need to figure it out the distinct count. All right. And before I move ahead, a quick information that within the description, you will find three links. One link is for the spreadsheet that is having all my videos of the Power BI that you can utilize as a handy uh, you know sort of a sheet to, to search for a uh, tutorial or you can share with others. Um, second link is about all my videos related to Tableau, Python, Click, everything is in there and uh, third link is where I keep my data sets. So utilize them. All right so how do we do that the distinct count so for this what I'll do is right click click on new measure and in this new measure, I will say distinct, distinct count equals to, and here I will write distinct count function. We can probably say distinct count orders and distinct count. So here we need to provide a field name. So here we will say order ID, order ID of orders table just make sure that you give it this one all right so if we close this up oops i think we did it at wrong place we need to do it at the end and here so if we check this we have the distinct order created and when we click it over here because our table is already selected you see there is a different value altogether for furniture if you see 723 1560 so 1560 is actually the count that you have uh, the unique count of orders that you have for each from the each customer similarly 8390 is the total count but 5492 is the actual order count or the unique order value that you have got from the customer so that's the reason you were going to utilize the distinct count function so that you are not counting duplicate values. Alright, so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.